Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to discuss another type of widget in jQuery UI. In the last few videos we came across widgets and then we saw some particular types of widgets and their usage. Today we'll be going through the accordion widget in jQuery UI and we'll see how useful this widget is and we'll also see when to use this particular widget. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. The accordion widget is mainly used for descriptions or we can say it is a jQuery based expandable and collapsible content holder that is broken into sections and probably looks like tabs only. So we have been through the syntax of the previous two widgets we discussed. There's not too much of a difference. So let's quickly go through the introduction of this widget from the jQuery UI website and then we'll use it in our program. So here we are on the official website. We'll quickly go through the accordion widget. So here's the widget. You can see the first widget present is the accordion widget. Click on it. And we can see we have some sections over here, right? We have section one, we have section two, three, and 4. If we click on any of the sections here, like if we click on section 2, you can see this section expands and we can go through the description of that particular section. So let's try to achieve this thing by ourselves and then we'll see the customizations allowed in the accordion widget. So we'll move to the VS code and first of all, what we'll do is we'll add some sections over here along with the description only. So here is the output of this particular document for now. What we'll do is we'll add some particular sections over here. So we'll write here div. Let's say the ID for this div tag is div1. Fine. So here is our div tag. Now inside this what we'll do is we'll add some headings and the description part. Right. So we'll write here let's say h2 and inside this we are writing let's say html. Now what we'll do is we'll create another div tag and then inside this div tag we'll write p and now we'll write something about the html. Fine. So we'll write here let's say html stands for hypertext markup language and then we'll write here let's say it is used to structure a web page fine so let's write something more here and we'll write here and its content fine save the program you can see it over here we have a heading as HTML and then we have a paragraph which says HTML stands for hypertext markup language and it is used to structure a web page and its content fine I hope you guys got this so now what we'll do is we'll copy this piece of code from here and we'll paste it again fine we have pasted it four times we'll change the headings and the paragraphs as well so let's say we are writing here CSS then we'll write here let's say we are writing here CSS stands for cascading style sheet and we'll write here it is used to style a web page in different ways fine save it and you can see here we have some headings and some text below them you can see it over here it says css stands for cascading style sheet it is used to style a web page in different ways similarly we'll change these two as well so let's do it first we'll write here javascript and then we'll write here let's say javascript script was introduced in the year two, 1995 and then we'll write here it is used to add functionality fine I hope you guys must know all of this by now so we have been through all this already now the last thing we are going to do is we are going to write here jQuery fine and then we'll right here inside this paragraph tag we'll write here jquery was jquery was introduced in 2006 so we'll write here jquery was introduced in 2006 
and let's say we are writing here jQuery is an open source fast tiny and rich feature library fine and that's it we are not writing anything more because this is just for illustration purposes so we'll save this and here you can see we have all the four headings we have HTML CSS JavaScript and jQuery so this is the HTML part we are done with it now let's use the accordion widget to make this okay looking web page a bit attractive so we'll use the widget only we'll move to a JavaScript file here we are in the JavaScript file and we'll write here inside this let's say now we want to access the whole division right so we want to access this particular division with ID as div1 so we'll write here dollar and then inside double inverted commas we'll write div1 this is the ID then we'll write here dot accordion fine this is a method so we'll use brackets over here that's it guys we are done with it save the program and you can see how nice this thing looks now we don't have to put any effort into adding functionality to this web page. A single line of code can do this task for us. So this is the actual use of jQuery UI. It allows us to do certain tasks with a single line of code. Now the first section always remains open like this. And if we want to make it collapsible, like you can see we can click on any of these sections now and that particular section will expand but if you refresh this page and you can see it over here the first section always remains open now what if we want to make it collapsible we don't have to do so much of a task what we have to do is we have to pass some properties and jquery ui will take care of the rest now what we'll do is we'll write here inside the brackets we'll use curly braces over here and now we'll write here collapsible and we'll pass it as true fine now save the program and you can see if we click on this HTML again you can see it collapses on clicking it so this property is working totally fine and it allows us to make a section collapsible or expandable fine jQuery UI helps us do such tasks without any problem so what else we can do here is we can change the icons as well here you can see that we have these arrow shaped icons over here in the header part if you guys remember jquery ui has some predefined css properties or we can say it has some predefined css libraries as well through which we can also change the style so let me show you the icons we have in jquery ui and for that we'll go back to the website here are the icons we can use any of the buttons from here you can see the names we don't have to do so much of a task you can see the icon type you can see it over here it's written that ui icon arrow 1n so these are the names for these particular icons we can use any of these icons we don't have to do much of a task we have to copy the names from here and we have to paste them into a javascript file so let's move back to a jquery file once and first of all we'll write the property over here we'll write here icons and this is a little bit tricky we can say we have to use curly braces over here and inside this we have to write header we are going to use different icons for header and for active header so we'll write here header and we'll take one icon from here fine we'll let's say we are taking this ui icon caret one so we'll copy the name from here we'll paste it in our jquery file then we'll write here comma we'll again do the same thing for active header as well so we'll write here active header and then we'll take one more icon so let's say we are taking this icon from here copy it from here paste it here and we are good to fine so this is how we can change the icons using jquery ui now let's go through the output once save this program and you can see the icons are changed now we have these icons over here so let me comment this property for once save it now you can see these were the icons we had before we are using the icons property now after using this property save it and here you can see the icons are changed fine so this is how we can change the icons using jquery ui so some more customizations we can make in this widget are we can also change the time for the animation to take place using the animate property now we don't have to do so much of a task for that we'll use a comma here and we'll write here 
animate we'll pass the time in milliseconds so let's say we are writing here 2000 save it and now the animation will take two seconds to complete you can see the change in the speed here it takes two seconds to expand and two seconds to collapse fine we can also change the event from click to mouse over as well so for that we have to write here after a comma we have to write here event and then we can write here let's say mouse over I hope this will work so the default event is the click event and we can change the event using this event property only so let's save this program and if we take our mouse cursor over any of these sections you can see that particular section expanding and collapsing with the mouse cursor right you can see the mouse over event working over here so these are some basic customizations we can make in the accordion widget in jquery ui the list is so long and we can't discuss all the properties so you guys can go through them from the official jquery ui website and let us know if we missed out on anything important so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through message box widget control in jquery if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.